An outdoor survival expert from Kent is warning people about the dangers of Lyme disease after contracting the debilitating illness from a tick bite which uh, bit him in woodland. Craig Fordham says his life and his health have been devastated by the condition. Yes, increasing numbers of infected ticks are being found here, even in parks and gardens. If identified quickly, Lyme disease can be cured with antibiotics, but it's often hard to diagnose and left untreated can lead to chronic fatigue and affect the joints, heart and nervous system. Our health correspondent Mark Norman has been to meet him. Craig runs a business teaching outdoor bushcraft skills and has been in the industry more than 20 years. But a year ago he became ill, eventually diagnosed with Lyme disease, contracted after a tick bite. He has struggled physically, mentally and even developed problems speaking. It was so bad I was taken to A&E and the stroke team ran emergency CAT scans. Um, but it does, the, 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 if I plan what I say, I'm good. And then uh, other times I just cannot get a word out. Just can't for love nor money. Ticks don't jump, but they walk along their host to find a suitable place to attach and feed. Lyme disease is caused by a bacteria transmitted via tick bites and difficult to diagnose. And that's a huge issue for sufferers. We are finding more and more that the general public and frontline medical staff are not aware of the seriousness of this condition if it is not treated promptly. We need accurate diagnosis and we need prompt treatment. While there is information including how to remove ticks, Craig says he was unaware of its seriousness and wants now to raise awareness. I've been in the outdoor industry for 28 years. Um, and was aware of, of, of ticks but had no real knowledge of how bad things could be. This is a big thing that I can teach the outdoor community is awareness and, 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 and prevention. Craig has just completed a month-long intravenous course of antibiotic drugs and he's now waiting to see how effective they've been. And there we go. Mark Norman, BBC South East Today, Ashford. It's nearly a